Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited no bull video. Today I've got part 4 of my review for Xiaomi Scooter Pro 2. The first part was about unboxing, the second part was about uh, putting it together and the uh, third one was setting up and frustration of setup. Uh, and fourth today is the first ride. It's my first ever ride on a scooter. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just hop in and start riding. My apologies, it will be a little bit uh, windy because it's quite windy day. But the idea is to test scooter, go against wind, with wind, test uh, regenerative braking, test uh, going uphill and all of that. So I will be uh, riding and talking and it will be a bit of wind. My apologies for that. Thank you. All right, let's fold this step and start going. All right, first of all, um, as my, my first uh, impression, I couldn't get it going before. Uh, and the idea is you cannot get scooter going until you reach 5k an hour. So you need to kick it in first. So, all right, it's our first hill and I would like to test regenerative braking. Uh, all right. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't need to use my brakes at all. It brakes all by itself. It's probably not strong enough, uh, but it's good enough to uh, not to use a brake for me. All right, hold on. I just fixed the camera. It looks like it's looking down. I would like it to look a little bit more up. All right, hopefully that's better. All right, so it's my first ever ride on a scooter and uh, to be honest, I'm quite impressed. I wished that uh, it would go a little bit faster. So in Australia, it's limited to 25 kilometers an hour. I know it's not the fastest or top speed for the scooter because people want internet uh, hacking or, or uh, side loading. Uh, hold on. I just fixed the camera. Something is not right. Let's keep pointing down. Let's keep pointing down. All right. I think I hope it's better. All right. Okay. Hopefully, I fix it this time around. So, people on the internet. Uh, People on internet uh, getting camera, uh, getting uh, scooter to work up to 35 k's an hour. Uh, look, I guess um, it's illegal, and I'm not going to do anything that is illegal to this scooter. Um, so, first impressions on the ride: uh, the scooter goes like I'm going against the wind right now. Um, 83 kilos. Uh, scooter is ready to. Um, 100 kilos, but I feel like at 83 kilos, it's maxing out now to 22, 23 kilometers an hour. Uh, wind is quite significant, and uh, I think it contributes for the scooter going slow. Uh, but um, I really appreciate um, soft tires because um, the ride is quite steady. I know it will feel like bumpy at the time, uh, especially on camera, but uh, trust me, uh, that's quite bumpy road here and uh, it's quite enjoyable at the moment, what it is. So, um, first impressions, uh, rigidity braking is at its maximum and I probably would um, I don't know, it feels like it could be a little bit more uh, scoping on a higher setting. So, um, well, I'm just going a little slower here. Um, it feels like uh, it can um, resist a little bit more when uh, uh, on a higher setting. So, I do believe the smallest setting doesn't do much at all. 
highest setting just all right but i would wish it would be a um, little bit higher setting somewhere there so that's my view on regenerative braking uh, speed i think uh, look 25 k's an hour is very safe uh, and very stable but i think you can safely go 35 on this scooter and feel safe as well um, what can i say uh, i think we're quite lucky here in brisbane australia because of the constant scooters are legal and i appreciate that uh, we have to have some rules because not everyone got the same skill set um, so uh, look uh, 25 years an hour setup and uh, uh, frustrations with, uh, with uh, uh, setting up application is actually working quite well right now so um, I don't know uh, hold on I'll just stop here for a bit okay um, so yeah the speed is alright the braking is alright uh, ride is really nice and smooth I think uh, this scooter evolved quite well. I'm not sure what were earlier versions of the scooters because um, this one feels just alright. I'll just stop talking for a second because it's quite windy and I don't want to be um, not heard. I start going with the uh, wind and uh, it feels much um, easier for scooter to go um, it goes much faster now it sticks to its uh, limit of 25 k's an hour uh, before I was going against the wind and uh, clearly it couldn't cope much it was sticking to 22 23 k's an hour uh, now it feels much happier about the whole ride so I'm just keep uh, fixing the camera because uh, it, I think it's a little bit rough for the mount and uh, my my camera sliding down yeah look downhill and with the wind it's going steadily 25 k's an hour uh, pretty happy about that speed so first impressions uh, if you never ridden scooter before, uh, it's not hard, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm pretty impressed the way that it is set up. It's uh, good for anyone who's riding for the first time. Uh, uh, the power is probably, could be a little bit more, but I think it's uh, to do with the battery distance and the motor, how much it weighs and all of that. So I think it's quite all right. Uh, it's not too powerful and it's not too weak. I think it's quite all right. Um, the smoothness of the ride is good. The throttle doesn't feel uh, any jittery jerky. It's quite a uh, smooth ride. Um, it's really easy to maneuver. It doesn't feel unsafe at any time. Um, it doesn't feel bumpy, even though probably on a, on a camera you will feel every single bump that I'm going through, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, it just uh, it does feel really smooth. So yeah, first impressions are good, and I'm glad that I survived the nightmare of uh, setting it up because the scooter uh, feels very sturdy, really good materials, very good uh, finish. Uh, riding quite well and there's no concerns about that um, what I would probably suggest is if you decide to put um, non puncture tires be ready to sacrifice that uh, smoothness smoothness of riding because um, I wish they would put suspension on 
the ride is very, um, I'd say, border uh, uncomfortable from bumps perspective. And if there was good suspension, that would be fixed. I, I believe um, I, I would pay like 50 to 100 more dollars if they would put suspension both uh, front and back and put non-puncture tires. So that would be uh, just ideal. So it would be uh, smoother and, um, you know, protected from punctures. Otherwise, you know what, it's a perfect scooter for its price. And I think uh, because it's not a first generation, you find something that is proven, as a proven technology. And uh, I would say, uh, it's quite a good investment if you need to commute short distances and you don't want to buy a car. Uh, because this scooter costs uh, literally less than some of the medium to good bikes, uh, I mean push bikes. So it's quite a good investment and uh, <laughs> pretty fun to ride too. I mean like um, I was a motorcycle rider for a long time and uh, I like that uh, feeling of uh, kind of flying. You cannot say that about scooter because speed is too little, too slow, but you know what, it is uh, more fun than uh, pushing the push bike, all the push bike probably can be classed as an exercise. Alright, now we're going uphill, let's see how scooter behaves itself, at the moment we're going 25 k's an hour, I slow down a little bit here because of the pole and start speeding up, um, it actually does accelerate uphill. You know what, it's accelerated all the way to 23 k's an hour. It's actually pretty impressive. So um, I managed to increase speed uh, over the um, hill. All right, I think um, that is good enough for review. And thank you so much for watching uh, this video and any other videos uh, on my channel. If you like it, please uh, hit uh, thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of those videos, um, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. I really appreciate you watching it. Um, and until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.